Well, people called their business idea, initially at least, crazy, ridiculous, absurd. They were told, guys, this is impossible. Mm. Yeah, but it's been how long? Almost a year, yeah. about nine months or so. Three recent college grads, two are brothers, are doing the laughing because they're doing it all the way to the bank. Fi <laughs> yeah, finally, though, it took them a while. They were still in the red, but that happens when you're launching your own business. Let's just keep in mind how long an average restaurant operates at a loss before they turn their profit. These guys are just about setting a record. Turning, They're going to make their first profit after about eight months. Their ninth month, wow. they're on track now to make a record. Unheard of, really. A restaurant, though, where nobody's in the kitchen. That's this is... There is... No restaurant. No there chefs. Is, there is right? no, no chef. chef. There right? is no kitchen. It's unbelievable the uh, the simplicity of the idea. Taking cereal, turning it into a restaurant. Check this out. They're even talking about franchising this as far off as Australia. If they franchise one store, right. that will be the huge profit these guys are looking for. They're a bunch of college guys who love cereal. Captain Crunch. Fruit Loops. Yeah. Okay. It seems yeah. like oh, everyone has a favorite. And the local Crunch. From kids who can't even reach the table to ladies who don't even need a table. Heck, to college guys who love a hot news anchor. Hey, hello, Pammy. The love of cereal is so universal. It's about the only thing on the menu at a Coral Gables restaurant called the Cereal Bowl. But cereal is something that, I mean, kids from two years old, three years old start eating. And then even adults like to have his snacks and eat on a regular basis as well. So there's really, there's no discrimination on age and, and race and at all everybody eats cereal so it kind of crosses the lines wow who knew that cereal was the gandhi of breakfast foods and at this place you can enjoy it all day long even into the night even with live entertainment does live music and cereal go together i think so okay but you can throw any of the 35 cereals together and create your own unique combination fruity pebbles just caught my eye and what the heck, why not Cheerios? You know what? Surprisingly, the Cheerio mellows out the Fruity Pebble. Doesn't it? No. It's a comfy place and it's a profitable place. I mean, think about it. Your product is cheap. It's cereal. I mean, this bowl cost me $3.49. You can buy a whole box. And look at this. <laughs> There's no kitchen. I mean, this is it. And of course, there is always the <laughs> stimulating conversation that cereal itself just brings about. Tony the Tiger's awesome. Hey, you know what? Can you give me a little personation of it? They're great! <laughs> now your turn. No, are you kidding? <laughs> ah, the love of cereal. Turning Captain Crunch into ka -ching. The gummy bear didn't, didn't draw you in, huh? It's just I'm too chewy for cereal, but the Fruity Pebble Cheerios combo <laughs> sounds like something to try there. Ironically, very nice. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a real social setting. Now, look, it doesn't hurt that it's right off the, the uh, University of Miami campus. Right. So you're wondering, hey, is it all just college kids that go in here? Well, hopefully I gave you a pretty wide span. What time span. of the day did you do that report? I was out there like around uh, 9.30, no, about 10.30 in the morning. So they had missed their morning rush. Right. Clearly, their, their busiest times are in the morning. But then Saturday right. and Sunday, Pack they go day, crazy. Right? And Friday nights, when they bring in the live bands, they're, they're filled mostly, Is, obviously, college kids. Do they encourage you to wear your jammies and slippers? I was the only one doing that that day. Oh, really? Yeah. But you looked comfy. It was comfy, At cozy. least you were wearing that. Oh, it's 27 boy. minutes.